Hi, I'm Jessa. And I'm Alex. And this is Jessa and Alex Watch. Grey's Anatomy, season one, episode one, A Hard Day's Night. We're back at it again, folks. We, I don't know if you've been following this channel for a while, but we um, in the past have done this thing called pilot season, which is where we watch iconic pilots of really famous TV shows that one of us haven't watched. Um, I um, have a sickness in which I am constantly rewatching Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> um, Do you want to tell people what number you were on when we navigated to the pilot? So we had to re-navigate to the pilot because I'm on my third rewatch since 2020. <laughs> and I'm in season 10. So, I mean, I can't judge. I'm always in the middle of a 30 Rock re- rewatch I've watched it probably a dozen times so. yeah I think Grey's Anatomy is just like a concerning one for people one because it's like constant drama yeah like it like is a little like sad that I'm watching like literal people die <laughs> on a daily basis mm, nice. something soothing yeah um, <laughs> um but I also think it gets a lot of flack because there are so many seasons and it's a 24 episode season type of show but I think that's what makes it a good rewatch so because by the time I've gotten all the way through season 19 I've forgotten what's <laughs> happened like there are so, so many new. episodes um and then there are obviously like peaks and valleys and it's like a chug up the um the bad seasons until they refine sure. their rhythm it's a really good um study in tv show making and like how to like keep something that long running like yeah. all of the different like things sure. they do to do. I don't know. It's I'm really fascinated. Shonda rhymes. Shonda. Good at TV. Good at TV. Uh no, I noticed though that season one is only nine episodes. So is this um a uh, writer strike show? I don't know. But the, it eight, feels nine? like the time. Right? Otherwise, uh, I mean, during this era, a show that only get nine episodes like there has to be a reason right it might be that they just didn't think it would do well because it's just like another medical drama like they had but usually it's 13 episodes and then they get the back nine so it's a really weird yeah thing let me see so they wanted so it says programming wanted to end the season alongside desperate housewives and push the last five episodes to the beginning of season two what an odd Odd choice. Maybe because it was like they were getting their viewership based off of Desperate. Like it came on right after Desperate Housewives, which was established. So they wanted to get their finales on the same day so that you could watch one right after the other. Mm. Anyway. Well, um, I don't really know much about the show. It's a doctor show. It's high drama. I know there's like a billion D characters that have come and gone. Yeah. We were discussing um, before we pushed record that Ellen Pompeo must be one of the richest women in America right now because she was on 18 seasons of a network TV show. That woman is so rich now. Yeah. I I can't even, I can't even begin to conceptual. And she lives like on a ranch in Atlanta. I'm pretty sure like- She's got it made. Good for her. And they dress her, especially in the later seasons when she's all like boss, surgeon. Spoiler alert. She gets costumes. Okay. They spend money on those suits. They are pristine. Anyway, uh, uh, I hope you really enjoy this pilot season. Um, We haven't um, done our full lineup. So please um, put down iconic pilots down below that you would like us to watch. Look at our back catalog first. Yeah. Make sure you look at and then watch all of our other pilots that we watched. Let's uh, get in. Stat. Jeez. <laughs> oh, don't shake hands. <laughs> he has such good hair. So charming. I will, yes, the hair. <laughs> it's a very important uh, character in the show. Speaking of great hair. Oh, her hair is excellent. We're speaking about Sandra O, oh, obviously. <laughs> Eight of you will switch to an easier specialty. Five of you will crack under the pressure. Two of you will be asked to leave. 
Wait, one of them actually did get fired, like asked to leave for being like a horrible person, right? Yes. But he he's not an intern. So I always feel like she is like the avatar for Shonda Rhimes. Yeah. They have a similar vibe. She's still on the show. Um she's iconic. I love is her. Is she a producer now? I I've read a whole art I've having never seen an episode of this show. I read this whole article. I'm pretty sure it was her and Shonda Rhimes and Ellen Pompeo talking about. It might have been um, Debbie Allen because she it was Debbie Allen who she yeah. becomes a character on the show. That's but she's a works. huge producer. She like reworked yeah, the whole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew show. it was somebody who was on the show and a producer. Mm -hmm. That was only four. Rule number five: When I move, you move. <laughs> she fucks a ghost. <laughs> she does <laughs> i know really random things about that's really show. funny <laughs> she um she has a brain tumor okay i, I heard every year the attending on call picks the best intern and now let's meet the procedure during the first shift <laughs> i'm just saying it's what i heard no she's young too though yeah she's they're all babies <laughs> so embarrassing. You're missing your pageant. The Spokane Teen Miss. I was in the top ten. Oh my god, drop that gorgeous. <laughs> Spokane Teen Miss. You're so lost. What do you want to do? I can be lost, sir. My fingers. I'm into your front It's rough on your first day. Chick surgeons. I feel like probably medical staff don't have like the lunch hour that everybody gets together in the cafeteria, but it's it's very important to a show. <laughs> yes, it's very cute. They need their time. Uh, as the show progresses, it becomes less like the cafeteria. Like one time they choose for a whole season to eat lunch in a coma uh, patient's room. <laughs> And then when the coma patient like does miraculously w wake up, he like knows all their personal drama because they've been talking about it. Very good plot point. <laughs> She's um well, you know what? I'm not, I'm not the doctor. Um, I, I'm a, a doctor, but I'm not Katie's doctor, so I'll go get him for you. <laughs> taco taco. This is such a. Uh, it's such a recurring plot point in show pilots. Mm -hmm. I mean, but only this morning. It wasn't the night before. <laughs> so charming. Shut up, Derek. <laughs> Advantage of me, and now you want to remember when he was just randomly sexiest man alive like this year? And he was like, What year is it? McDreamy? <laughs> so, what? With love and respect, haven't thought about him in a decade. <laughs> it might be because Grays is having a resurgence, like everybody mm. is watching it, like the children. Could be. See me naked. Dr. Shepard. Has it? I mean, if you're her boss, she's right. Are you or are you not the teacher? Okay, he's an intern, Berg. He wasn't talking about you. Are you sure? Did we lie to you? Yes. 007 is a state of mind. It says the girl who finished first year of 
first in her class at Stanford. It's not her fault she's perfect. Okay, hello? Geriatrics for freaks who live with their mothers and never have sex. Wow. <laughs> I've got to get my own place. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should follow theater rules and we should walk quickly and with purpose, but not run. No running in the hospital. I can't sleep. My head's all full. That's called thinking. Go with it. <laughs> Dr. Bailey, I don't need to bother you. No doubt. It's Mr. Jones. Is he dying? No. Then stop talking to me. That is so close to death. There's a tag on his tongue. They're good at teaching at this teaching hospital. They are. Look at the word art on that. I saw that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm only an intern. Here's an idea. Why don't you go spend four years in med school and let me know if it's the right diagnosis? She's short of breath. She's got fever. She's Is this a nurse he's speaking to? Mm -hmm. She needs to pull Carla from Scrubs and tell him about himself. Mm-hmm. We love an early 2000s misogyny moment. Alex does become one of my favorite characters. They fix him, but That's he good. does start off rough. Girl, don't freeze up now. Girl, move. She had a seizure, seizure. and her heart stopped. You're supposed to be monitoring her. I checked on her, and she... I got her. Just, just go. Some good rain to stand in. Mm -hmm. Feel feelings. <laughs> or throw them up. That'll work, too. <laughs> that is a lot of pressure the first time, like, a life is, like, really in your hands. Yeah. Like, this job, not for me. <laughs> okay, but I hope you have mouthwash or something, or nobody's going to need to... <laughs> it will be obvious. I find Patrick Dempsey as a person very off-putting. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I don't know what it is about him. I think he's smarmy. Yeah, yeah. Good morning. Good morning, Barbie. <laughs> If this if it was made in this decade, he would have been a good kin. Oh yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. A kin, yes, not the kin. A kin, yes. A shot to scrub in downstairs. My patient wasn't alive during the Civil War. Don't page me again. I don't want to spend any more time with Shepard than I have to. What do you have against Shepard? If we find me, my body. <laughs> Why don't you just step out of the elevator so the other people can go? Well, you know what the chances that a minor fall could burst the aneurysm? One in a million, literally. Okay, but somebody has to be the one in a million. Right. Let's go. Where? Right out of Katie's one in a million. He agrees with you. As he should. <laughs> That'll do it. That'll do a seizure, for sure. Sorry, I can't 
Wow. Oof. Christina, when it doesn't rain, it snows. What an ally. <laughs> She really just pauses and doesn't say anything. It's an interesting choice. Yeah. I it's Meredith and Christina bond over the fact that they're both sharks, but I normally like remember that scene as Chris like Meredith not having a choice. Yeah. Like, like, he just, like, picks her, and then Meredith is like, actually, like, Christina should do it. But she doesn't say no, anything. No, sure doesn't. The only one that can keep a promise like that is God, and I haven't seen him holding a scalpel lately. You never promise a patient's family a good outcome. Shonda has a very specific way of writing dialogue. Yeah. Yes. I'm not a promise you are. Only well, makes you feel all bad in your warm, going places. Screw you. Because I slept with my boss and I didn't get into med school because oh. I have a famous mother. So oh no. <laughs> Gloria, there are complications in the surgery. I feel like you should probably take them into the family room and not just say this in the the full yeah. open waiting room. Did she get paid enough to have her head shaved to be in this episode? I said a wig, am I looking at a Anyway, sorry. <laughs> <Not> just, yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa. On your first day, with very little training, you help save her life. You earn the right to follow her case through to the finish. You shouldn't have that we had sex get in the way of you taking your shot. I do think she deserves, like, she was the one that figured it out. Right. She and was the one that remembered that she had a head injury. Yeah. And she was her doctor. Like, that, right. that actually It checked tracks. her out. Yeah. She just shouldn't have said to Christina in the first place that I don't want anything to exactly. do with him. Exactly. And you can take the surgery no matter what, because Christina was happy to like share it. Right. Exactly. Name the common causes of post on FEMA. The common causes of post op Can anybody name the common causes of post op fever? Wind, water, wound, walking, wonder drugs. The five W's. Most of the time is wind, splinting, or pneumonia. Pneumonia is easy to assume, especially if you're too busy to do the tests. What do you think's wrong with 4B? The fourth W, walking. I think she's a prime candidate for a pulmonary embolus. How would you diagnose? Not so much of a nurse now, is she, Alex? <laughs> it's a beautiful night to save lives. Let's have some fun. Hour forty eight. Oof. That's rough, girl. <laughs> you got it bad. She's a Chandra regular. She's a big part of Scandal. Mm -hmm. She's Meredith's mom. So. That was good. I'm Listen, Chandra Rhimes knows how to make television. Right. You know? Yeah. Like, she knows how to construct a perfect hour. Um, Sandra is definitely my favorite one. Oh, yeah. And, and she continues to, like, grow and become a very interesting character. I love yeah. Sandro's character. Yeah. I love Christina. Um, but my favorite relationship in the whole show is the relationship between Christina and, and Meredith. It's easily one of the best friendships on mm. TV. Yeah. Um, and it specifically shows like female friendship in a way that like, like they get to be each other's soulmate. Yeah. You know, like they have this thing where they call each other like my person. They're like, yeah. you're my person. Like even though they both get married to people in throughout the show um it's like at the end of the day you're my person right yeah and um it's it's nice it's lovely anyway thank you so much for watching that with me you're welcome uh and thank you guys so much for watching please like this video subscribe to our channel and let us know in the comments what other pilots you'd like us to watch bye